I'm Laura Manios. I'm just entering my second year. I'm majoring in aerospace engineering. I'm an international plan French. Uh, some of the things I'm involved in are the honors program here. I'm on the Aerospace Student Advisory Council, Homecoming Executive Committee. I'm a tour guide here. I play club soccer and I'm in a sorority. Um, during the summertime, I was preoccupying myself with another research initiative, and that was in composites with Dr. McKeith. I worked mainly with a graduate student of his, and we worked together on testing the stress loads of composite joints. I was really interesting in ASDL because I was by far the youngest researcher there, so it was intimidating at first, but they always really encouraged me. I found a lot of mentors there, so it was it was a different experience in that normally I really like to be, you know, the leader in everything, but I was kind of more of an observer at first just because it was my first research job, but I really enjoyed it. Well, I felt really inspired by one of my friends. Uh, he's made a number of accomplishments in undergraduate research. He's a Goldwater Scholar, which is one of the major uh, scholarships for people who are involved in research. And he just really encouraged me to find out my own initiatives to see uh, what I really enjoyed. So I got in touch my second semester freshman year, and that was with the director of the Aerospace Systems Design Lab. So from then on, uh, up until the summer, I worked with their composite research group. And at the same time, my French teacher from my first semester politics class contacted me about a Pura idea that she had. So we talked about it a couple times and I really liked it. It was on French film. So I decided to go ahead and apply for Pura and I was really excited to see that I got it. I was taking an intro to aerospace class at the same time as my first research with ASDL and it really put an image behind the theories and the formulas that I had. So it was a lot easier for me to understand it when I saw the applications outside. I really admired the coordinator of the um, of our certain job it was it was with a Vought company and that's a company that designs fuselages for Boeing airplanes and we started off not knowing anything you know they were asking us about outsourcing about maybe having other countries produce parts of the composites and parts of what would make the fuselage up and meld it together in the states so everything it was really new to everyone so I kind of felt on the same page but the researcher who was coordinating just took the initiative. She was really strong and I just enjoyed seeing how she took nothing and made it into a problem solving strategy. Well, with my French research, I immediately found a mentor in my teacher. She's French. I just, we really got into a good start my first semester when we did politics. I was always going to her outside of class. She helped me a lot with getting internships for the following summer, or at least just seeing possibilities. For my composite group, it was really important not only to appreciate what the coordinators and what other research engineers did, but to find eventually with a grad student an interest and see that they have gone through something that I have not yet gone through, and it's been a huge learning experience. For my French professor, immediately I enjoyed her company. We confide in each other, not only in our research, but as friends. And that's so important because we're going to be working together for a really long time. If you don't enjoy each other's company and bounce ideas back off each other or try new things, then it'll be impossible to make what could be an incredible project actually happen. So having a good relationship with your mentor is extremely important. Well, typically for people my age, it starts off first with credit. And if I continue with the same group or with the same professor, it could eventually become for pay. Uh, I did them both for credit, and that was good for me. It was a way to get an A pretty easily, but also by seeing, you know, being more of the observer at first and then working hands-on later. So. Um, either way, credit or pay, it's definitely a good experience. I would say that if you're interested in anything at all, just to take the initiative, it's never too early to get started, and it really helps mold uh, what future career goals could be. Sometimes it can be in something that's not even related to the major, but as long as you enjoy it, as long as you see opportunities in discovering something new, just definitely get started on it.